Today I'm going to teach you how to set up the rail camera mod NBA 2K20 on PC. So the first step you want to do is you want to go to the NLSC forum. I'll have the link in the description. It'll bring you to this thread right here created by Nacra90. This is the bubble mod for NBA 2K20. You're going to want to download this and install it on your PC. After you install the bubble mod, you're going to want to go to cheatengine.org and then you're going to want to download Cheat Engine. You're going to open up the download and you're going to want to install it on your PC. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through the steps again, but just install it like you install any other program. After you install Cheat Engine, you're going to go to the next link in the description which is the media fire link for the rail cam and you're gonna select download it's a zip file it's about 135 megabytes so it should download pretty quick after you download the zip file from the media fire link it should be called railcam v3.zip you want to find it on your computer open it up and then drag all the files in there into any place on your computer it could be any type of folder or anything I'm gonna drag it onto the desktop I have a folder in my desktop that I'm gonna drag it into so I know where it's at when I get to those steps where I need it then you can X out the zip so right now in this folder I have all the files from that zip here to use now you want to go to where you have NBA 2k20 installed on your PC so for me I have it in the I drive you can have it in any other drive on your computer so find what you have installed at and then you're going to drag this NBA 2k20.exe file and you're going to drag it right here not into your Wagyu folder you're just going to drag it right here in the, in the root of the NBA 2k20 and then you're going to replace the file I already have it in there so I'm not going to do it again next you're going to drag this s whole new game.if file into your Wagyu folder and then you're going to replace the file just like you replaced the other one. So NBA2K20.exe is just going to go into your root right here. And this whole new game.if is going to go into your Wagyu folder. And you're going to replace whatever it says to replace. Next, you're going to want to launch NBA2K20. You're going to go to Play Now. You're going to go to 2KU. You're going to go to Freestyle. And then you're just gonna select any team. I'm gonna select the Raptors. It doesn't matter what team you pick. Press A on that. Wait for it to load up. All right, now you should just be in the bubble right here. And now you wanna hit Alt and Tab on your keyboard to minimize the game. So you can go back to your desktop just like I'm doing right now alt tab once you alt tab into your desktop you're gonna want to open up cheat engine that should have been the first step you've done you installed it on your computer so find where you haven't installed open up cheat engine it should look like this it should be a blank screen you're gonna want to select the magnifying glass in the top left right here and then you're gonna select NBA 2k20 hit open now you're going to select the folder up here and you're going to find where you have that Railcam V3 folder at. I have it here and you're going to select the camera that CT that's in that folder. So the Mediafire zip file that you downloaded is going to have a camera.ct in it. You're going to want to find that and hit open in Cheat Engine. If you've done it correctly this should pop up camera gameplay settings you want to tap the box and then you want to scroll down to where it says side you want to select side you want to select this question mark you want to select the points to and then you want to select where it says 2k parameters 16 by 9 and then you want to select right under it also and then a bunch of values will pop up. So you got minus 750, 750, 200, 600. D 
these are the values we're going to be changing to change the camera. Inside that folder where everything else is at, I have a screenshot of how it's supposed to look. So if I zoom in on this, the first one is a thousand. Right here it says minus 750. You're going to want to change it. So you're just going to click it. It says minus 750. You're going to enter in 1000. The next one is also 1000. One after that is 900. And it's 1200. Make sure you enter these things correctly or the camera mod would not work correctly. So take your time, look at the screenshots and enter them incorrectly. After you finish entering all the values correctly, you wanna hit Alt Tab and then go back into NBA 2K20. Now you wanna hit Start, you wanna to go to Camera, you wanna hit LB until you get to Side, you want to put the zoom on 10, the height on 2, key zoom you could put on or off, I'm going to keep it off, reverse angle off, and then hit B, to back out, save changes, and now you should have the bubble camera. One thing to remember is if you close out 2K20, you're gonna have to redo the steps again. This camera mod does not save. So every time you launch 2K20, if you wanna use this camera mod, you have to redo all the steps again in Sheet Engine. If you switch camera angles with this mod, you'll notice that on one side of the court, there's no objects there. I had to remove them for this camera to work properly. So there wasn't nothing blocking the view. So if you switch to the 2K camera and you want these objects back, you will have to reinstall the bubble mod also, this mod does not work online. So the .exe file that I gave you is 1.05. That's an older 2K version. That's the only version that works with camera mods. So if you want to play online, you have to delete the .exe file and then go into Steam and then verify your game files and then it'll update 2K back to the latest update. Many players on their best behavior to start the year. Do things get more chippy as the season goes on? If you were in a, a marriage, Kevin, let's say, and uh, I you am, had, I am. and you are, let's say you had what's called the honeymoon phase. Yes. Right around December, that's about your fifth year of marriage. <laughs> and guys start to think about, you know what, I keep seeing you every day, and uh, I, I, I don't like how it is that I'm playing. Oh, the power oh, on that fruit Unreal. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Well, Coach Mike Malone has grown up with this young Nuggets team. He says that he believes in the youth of this team. Well, the future is so bright for the Denver Nuggets, and really where you have to give Mike Malone a ton of credit is when they made the decision between their two bigs, Jokic and Nurkic, sticking with Jokic and then changing their entire offensive style to play from a point center position. It has paid huge dividends. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. They retain possession, and Millsap slams it in. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. And there's the pass to Butler. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Well, they say players are made in the summertime. And that's Jimmy Butler's favorite time of year. He calls it grimy season. He gets out in the country and puts in that work. Free throw, good Butler. And Greg, those summertime workouts for Butler, they are something. I mean, they sure are. He calls them bandanas and buckets. Grows his hair out, two-a-days, hot yoga, 
intentionally isolated from the hustle and bustle of the big city. It gives him an excuse to really just lock in. That one is no good. And the Nuggets franchise still looking for their first trip to the NBA Finals. How about the franchise making the ABA Finals back in 1976? So it's been quite elusive here in the mountains to get the finals back to Denver. 40 years ago, still looking for that trip. A good decision making with the ball in his hands for Paul Millsap. That's a terrific beat. Outside Robinson. Adebayo down low. Jokic defending. The shot by Adebayo, no good. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. And it's Murray, that time on the assist by Jokic. And Murray showing it all here. An exceptional player attacking while he's in the open floor. Here's Nunn. He's covered by Murray. Nunn, that's good. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. And here is Murray. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Dallas. And it's Jokic missing. Boy, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Here's Butler over Porter. Shots good from Butler. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Here's Murray. The Nuggets trail by six. Pass to Porter. Puts up a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. I uh, like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. Here's none. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. It's a three-point game. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. Wow, hammering it in! Oh. I just like the instincts Butler has defensively. Just fantastic at staying active and coming up with deflections. For Denver, they've gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Murray, the pass to Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Jokic does such a nice job of doing everything in this offense, including the drop. R&B, all I need, a little bit of Hennessy, a little bit of R&B, from my R&B, all I need, a little bit of Hennessy.